Hello everybody, welcome back for another World of Warship Splits video. So in this video um, there's a bit of an accident and um, I was meaning to show you a Fubuki video and show you torpedoes but as you can see there's a smoke screen, the Fubuki doesn't have a smoke screen so what's happened is that I've jumped in the tier 6 Hatsuharu. In fact after this game I did exactly the same mistake. So um, Therefore I have uh, only two torpedo tubes instead of three, with relatively similar reload, but I have stronger guns. So, um, however, on the bit negative side, um, there's only really one destroyer on the opponent team, so um, this ship, I would have been better off with the Fubuki in this match. And our other destroyer is a Farragut, so he's pretty good at, at, at gun battles with destroyers. So what I'm doing here is I'm digging in deep, um, there's a de grass obviously. Um, what I'm going to be doing is aiming, there's a couple of spots that the uh, enemy seems to like to congregate in. So without getting within visual range of that de grass, if I can help it, I'm going to be firing torpedoes at the natural accumulation points. Now if it had been the Fubuki I would have fired two tubes down there and had one in reserve. As you can see, um, the opponents love to congregate in the wrong spaces and we get into a couple of nice torpedo hits. Um, someone's obviously a little bit grumpy and sending torpedoes back the other way, but that's, yeah. Long range torpedoing of destroyers is not, yeah, it just doesn't work. So, that's 7,000 points, so um, finally we have managed to capture the, the target area, so I was Spending my time in the target area trying to capture it. Um, there's an Akazuki out here. He is basically a dedicated destroyer, um, torpedo destroyer. So he could be sending torpedoes my direction. Um, something hit me and I doubt that was the Akazuki. And sure enough, um, there's a Koenigsberg coming around the corner. Uh, we take a shot. And then, oh. He seems to have, a f oh, because we're burning, of course, I probably should have put that fire out. That would have helped quite a lot. The smoke starts to clear. He's got his line on me. The torpedoes have passed him. Um, for me, it's a case of the, the slow business of turning around. He's got me, bang to rights. I give him another torpedo just to see if I can clear him out. I was lucky to survive that. Get back in the circle and try and get behind this hill. Here's one more snapshot, um, which fortunately didn't finish me off. I think he, he'd only just reloaded by the time I'd crested, pretty much left the hill. And so now it's time to just get out of there. So, so far the circle has flipped twice. You can see there's two capture flags at the top there. Um, and all I'm going to be doing now is basically being a presence of a ship in the circle. I... Um, I have a smoke screen left, one left, and I have um, a relatively small stealthy size, so my destroyers, tier 6 and above, all have concealment. Um, and all I'll be doing is, um, once every minute or so, is popping a, a load of tubes down to the, uh, the natural collection point of the, um, of the far end of the, this, of the channel. Um, for me it's just a case of there's a lot of their ships inside the circle here we go they're capturing it back um, they're held off now if I leave the circle what will happen is they will actually end up capturing it if I shoot they'll see me so it's just slow old torpedo runs and I really wish I had the Fubuki. That's the Akazuki again. Torpedoes. I give him give him a shot. There's his torpedoes. He's probably aiming at something, a cruiser to my to my left. And um, yeah, well it's quite impressive watching all the gunfire go crisscross above you. Someone had obviously decided that I was a worthy target. Um, I'm not burning this time, so they really are firing at random. I can't remember if I'm dumb enough to use my guns in this situation. Uh, looks like I'm smart enough to avoid that mistake. So I'm looking to see if anything is going to um, 
make itself available for my torpedoes. Um, that's not the case, but you can see in the meantime, um, we have regained the caps. I've got three capture points. I've got three torpedo hits for 13,000. Ten um, main battery hits and three captures. Now when it comes to the end of game score, um, we'll show you how important those captures are. Oh, if, the, uh, if the torpedo aiming cone, cone is moving like that, it's definitely not worth shooting at. And probably here I should just shoot it, because with 17 seconds to go, it probably won't even make it all the way across the... Um, all the way across the channel. Nah. My torpedoes might be fast, but they're not that fast. And the game counts out. I survive with 922 health. Um, mainly because um, I exposed myself to that Koenig and I didn't put out my fire, so I gave him something to shoot at. Um, let's have a look at the scores. Um, as you can see, pretty average showing from a damage perspective. Um, fairly good results here um, because it's the first win of the day for the ship because it was an accidental use of the ship and as you can see middle score but not too bad 500 versus um, 771 so you can see those three captures made up for a lot of ground a lot of missed damage so don't be afraid to get captures they are worth quite a lot um, I hope that was entertaining thank you for watching